learning Vietnamese language in Vietnam. Let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Martis. I make daily video about legal, business, and intellectual property. What is intellectual property? Intellectual property is copyright, trademark, and other intellectual property. The thing is, in this series of videos, I will show you how I try to learn the language Vietnamese. I will show you um, different things that I use, and um, if you can use it, use it to learn the language. If you cannot, don't. It's that simple. In this video, I want to talk about um, learning uh, uh, Vietnamese in Vietnam and how does it work and what can you do, what can you not do, and what can you expect. So um, let's talk about that. And uh, let's start first that you need to understand that people are working. And people don't have often time, they have other things in their mind. And if you are here and you expect people to teach you, it's not going to work. But um, when you go somewhere and you try to talk to people, some people may be afraid of you because they're afraid to, because they cannot speak English. And the people that can speak English, they are eager to talk to you, so to practice their English. So that's also something that you need to think about it. So if you are in Vietnam, I'm not saying I'm an expert or anything, but if you're here with the intention to learn Vietnamese just to become the people, try to make some friends here. And when you make some friends here, where you have free time, you're hanging out with them, you can practice the language. There are some clubs out there where you can go in the evening and practice uh, Vietnamese. But the thing is, it's difficult because you have a lot of people and they try to learn English. So you are switching skills and they try to learn English. But sometimes you're sitting there and there are two, yeah, let's say two people that can speak English and ten people that can speak Vietnamese. And the problem with that is some people say you need to say it like this, some people say you need to say it like that. And that can bring some confusion. But it also gives you the opportunity to talk more with people when you are learning it. But um, when you are here, watch out for these kind of things and think about that. But um, my tip is go on Facebook, try to look for a buddy where you can talk to and try to go on zoom call the person talk with the person one hour a day talk about daily things so you can practice your uh, vocabulary and also how you speak and also um, try to exchange your skill for speaking english with other people it's that simple that's how you can learn it uh, for free okay and if you are here that's a different story so if you're online you do it like that but if you are here if you're friends you can talk with them practice them but just remember if you go there somewhere and you order something some of the people can speak english some of them don't but people that cannot speak english are a little bit afraid of speaking to you so that's something you need to consider and when you're here you can join some clubs to learn vietnamese i'm not saying some people are bad teacher i'm not saying that some people cannot speak or teach what i'm saying is when you visit those kind of things uh, watch out because uh, when you are there your goal is to learn your goal is not to hang out or to um, do other things your goal is to learn and if someone doesn't have the intention to help you yeah don't go there it's that simple because sometimes when you are there you see people they just want to practice their English they don't care if you want to learn the language or not that's something else you need to consider some people meant it uh, they really meant it well, but it doesn't mean it will help you. So that's something you need to consider when you are here. Just remember, people can be busy. Some people have different agenda. Watch out for these kind of things. When you are here, look for a buddy, look for a friend. You can hang out with it and you can practice. So how do I do it? I have a friend. Eh? She is a really good friend of mine and she helps me with the language. So that's a good thing. So if you want to know more about these kind of things or what you can do or what you cannot do, feel free to contact me and I will see you in the next video.